New at 9 tonight, hundreds of demonstrators supporting Palestine took over a southwest Houston street this evening, and Arashi Vats was there speaking to many of them, joining us live to explain what they were calling for. Hi, Rashi. Yeah, this is literally three minutes away on the other side of the freeway from where our station is, right here. So you heard honking, chanting, and a lot of police presence that started to get out of control. Palestine will be free. So police did put barricades up, and I was really surprised when the protesters, they started jumping those barricades that were being put out there. And you can see this view here with our tower cam showing the magnitude of the protest. And yes, they did take part of the street there. So 59, the Southwest Freeway is the highway that you're seeing there. This is just some video that was taken as a driver was driving by. But this is 59, the Southwest Freeway and Westland, and they were headed over west. And I did walk along the sidewalk seeing those protesters and Houston police trying to direct traffic. This was all part of a day in action rally, according to the Houston Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE. It's not just because we're Muslims, it's for human rights. We can never accept to be seeing other people, kids, children, women, innocent people just being bombed. This local rally, according to organizers, is to protest Israel's killing of Palestinian civilians, ethnic cleansing, and apartheid. And as we've reported, rockets continue to destroy and kill in the Middle East. The latest Israeli warplanes pounding the Gaza Strip and rocket fire continues into Israel. Hundreds have already died, and there really seems to be no end in sight, although President Biden has expressed his support for a ceasefire in the region. And coming up on the News Edge at 10, more from this protest, and we'll hear from those old old and young, talking as young as five years old, Jonathan and Caitlin, that were taking part in this rally. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Rashi Vats, Fox 26 News.